Hello, my name is Professor Jeff Youngblood. I'm going to talk about some cellulose nanocrystal coatings for food packaging. Importantly, food packaging is a growing concern in that uh, overall it's growing by 6%, but advanced barrier coatings are growing by upwards of 45% per year, and it's a billion dollar market. Uh, as everybody knows, we see more, uh, more and more food packaged in plastic films and less and less fresh. Uh, or it's fresh food in plastic films, and uh, the technology I'm speaking about today improves those. The technology specifically is on a coating made of renewable materials that we can coat on plastic films. Here you can see PET and coated PET. There's no difference. However, it drastically improves the barrier performance. Uh, most packaging materials are in this range of oxygen permeability and CO2 permeability polylactic acid, which isn't very good for food packaging. You have uh, PET and ethylene vinyl alcohol. And you can see our coating can obtain values way down here. Order of magnitude improvement in both O2 and CO2 permeability over ethylene vinyl alcohol. Of course, ethylene vinyl alcohol is essentially the workhorse of food packaging, the high expense, high performance uh, system if you really, really want to protect from oxygen and CO2 and we are order of magnitude improvement over that. Importantly, this material is from sustainable and renewable materials. It's cellulose. It's derived from wood. Because it's cellulose, it's non-toxic and biodegradable, has a very low carbon footprint. We process it with roll-to-roll -roll manufacturing from a waterborne system, so it is scalable. We actually produce this on 1,000 meter rolls already and has excellent optical and other properties necessary for packaging applications. Currently we have an active patent and another patent application for this technology and there are no third-party obligations.